welcome to our weekly edition on the Chinese labour movement. We are being joined today by our sister Jennifer Chong, our USI coordinator based in Hong Kong, who is here today to tell us about some very important developments in relation to one of USI's most favourite companies, not, that, that of course is Walmart. Jennifer, a pleasure to have you with us and tell us what's going on with this Walmart situation in relation to the workers who I understand are out in protest. So, uh, starting early March, uh, Walmart uh, has announced it's going to closing several um, supermarkets in China, uh, specifically in Hunan province, which is in the uh, middle, in uh, west, uh, in the southern west part of uh, China. So, uh, on hearing the announcement, the workers they got very angry because they didn't get the uh, legal compensation. So, um, one highlight is the um, the union. The union uh, chairman started to organize the workers to uh, protest against the uh, Walmart management. Jennifer, thanks very much for that update. And of course, Walmart is the biggest private sector employer in the world. And the sort of practices that they are deploying in China, those of us in the UK and in America and people around the world will recognise this sort of behaviour by Walmart. But I know, picking up in our conversation from last week, Jennifer, there's a particular gender dynamic to this situation as well because as we spoke there is in China a lot of gender occupational segregation and this really applies to Walmart doesn't it where the majority vast majority of the workers affected by this potential closure are women do you want to tell us a little bit more about that okay sure so this uh, so according to the uh, union chairman around 90 uh, percent of the of the Walmart uh, employees in that uh, specific in that specific store uh, are women. So in total, one hundred and forty-five employees were affected by the store closure. Uh, so at this stage, uh, we saw the uh, armed police. The police were uh, coming to the protest location to detain workers, and uh, by now. I believe the workers who were detained yesterday uh, have been released, but there was a very um, there was a very tense environment on the labor relations in the cyber space. In I mean the uh, Weibo, the Chinese Twitter. Uh, so the uh, scholars and the uh, lawyers they were uh, they are gathering together to support the workers and the union. Jennifer, thanks very much for that update. What is the situation at present? I know that there is some debate and confusion as to whether Walmart is going to go ahead and close its factory and retail outlet there. Is that still up for debate or does it really look as if Walmart are pushing ahead with the closure? And what sort of support has been given to the workers by lawyers to try and use the Chinese labour laws as they are at present to apply pressure and importantly what can people do around the world to show their solidarity with the workers Jennifer? Okay uh, so I believe uh, Walmart is going to go ahead with its uh, closure plans in Hunan province and so far it has announced two stores will be closed because of the profit problems uh, Walmart is no longer any enough profit in these two stores. So uh, the workers there, they face two options. One is to transfer to other Walmart uh, stores. The other is they can choose to resign or quit. Uh, then Walmart will give give the workers a certain amount of uh, compensation. Uh, the dispute right now is that the, uh, the workers don't think the compensation is uh, sufficient enough. So they are uh, working together with the union uh, to demand more compensation. 
Thanks a lot for that, Jennifer. And how can people around the world support the workers in the Walmart store that you've referred to, other than generally sharing this video and sharing information across the social media streams? Because I often think, Jennifer, one of the most important things is to disseminate the information and to let people know around the world what the Chinese workers are involved in. In, in terms of their struggles for fairer terms and conditions mm -hmm. and security of their jobs. Is there anything practical that people could get involved in in supporting the workers, even perhaps with USI's Weibo account? Yep. Um, uh, I think right now the uh, problem is the Walmart management. They are, uh, they are working with the local government to uh, to uh, to uh, fight against the workers, such as uh, workers are protesting, and then the government will send uh, police to detain the workers. So the worker, the government, uh, the local government is working with the Walmart to uh, uh, to uh, to uh, fight against the workers. So I'm thinking one uh, practical way is to. Uh, like we did before, is to sign petition um, on a global level to support the workers uh, to uh, to give a uh, Walmart pressure, especially it's a uh, American headquarter. Okay, Jennifer, thank you very much for that update, and we look forward to speaking with you in the very near future on the latest movements in the Chinese labour market and how we can support our brothers and sisters in China. Thanks very much for chatting to us today. You're welcome. Today we're being joined by our brothers, Jeff, who is the Communications Director for the China Labour Bulletin, and Chai Yi, who is the Communications Officer. Welcome today for joining us to talk about a really important issue in relation to Walmart that is ongoing in China at the moment. Welcome, guys. Good to be here. Thank you. Tell us about what is going on with one of USI's favourite companies, of course, Walmart, the biggest private sector employer in the world. And I'm absolutely not shocked to hear that the same tactics that it's deploying in America and the UK, they are, of course, deploying in China. Please tell our audience about what this company is up to. Well, Walmart has been expanding very rapidly in China. And you know, they first went in about 10 years ago, and they opened stores everywhere. And then recently they discovered a lot of these stores are not profitable. So, of course, what do they do? They say, oh, they'll just close them down and move them elsewhere. Um, but they never bothered to tell the workers that this plan and this one store in um, a central Chinese city, um, has, the workers were just given two weeks' notice, basically saying, we're closing down, you can either accept a redundancy package, which was pretty insulting, or you can move to another store in China. And that store might be anywhere. You know, and these people, you know, they've got families, they've been working here for many, many years, um, you know, they've got kids in school, you know, they don't want to move, they want to keep their jobs. And so what the workers did um, was actually the, the head of the trade union. This is the, the very interesting part of this story, is, as you probably know, trade union in most enterprises in China really doesn't do a lot for workers. But in this case, the, the chairman of the store of trade union really did. He got he called a meeting, he sat the workers down and said, okay, these are the issues. Um, what are our demands? What are our grievances? What are our concerns? And they presented a list to management and when management refused to listen, uh, the workers basically blockaded the store. They set up picket lines. And uh, you've probably seen the pictures that we put on the line. You know, you've got workers standing outside with banners saying we want to work, um, opposed to the illegal um, closure of the store. Um, and 
ran this about two weeks ago, and um, it's it's kind of hotting up now. There's uh, lots of different people getting involved, but um, as far as I know, it's the blockade is the picket is still going on. Well, that is an absolutely terrible story, but a very heartening story at the same time, Jeff and Chai, in the sense that the official trade union and their chairman has reacted in the way that we expect trade unionists to behave when workers are confronted with the tactics of Walmart. I'm very keen to pick up on an aspect of the, the points that you just made. Why is it that Walmart isn't proving to be quote unquote profitable in China? What is it, What are the series of reasons behind China closing its, fact, its shop and outlet there? And if it's happening in this area, then surely it will continue. Yeah, I think it's not just Walmart that's having problems in China. Um, Tesco, that great British brand, um, made a terrible loss in China. They uh, they were off, they set up stores about five weeks ago and lost bids in the process. And eventually, they had to sell the operation to uh, a Chinese company, China Resources, uh, which are now basically trying to turn those uh, shops around. Um, and actually, there was a very similar protest at a Tesco store in Zhejiang uh, about three years ago, where the uh, Tesco basically just said, we're closing down, and the workers said, no, you're not, and they blockaded the store and demanded proper compensation. In that case, um, the, the difference was that the trade union wasn't involved. Um, it was actually the local government came in and tried to sort it out, and it was kind of half-hearted effort, but eventually they would get something out of it. But the, so the supermarket retail sector in China is, and there's a lot of work around rest. I mean, Jai, remember, it was in Beijing a few months ago, there was about eight supermarket stores workers going on strike there, because they, they were being... Uh, the, the chain was being sold to a, a, another conglomerate. Uh, uh, supermarket invested by uh, Thailand, a Thailand uh, retail conglomerate. Uh, okay, I mean that's that's fascinating because not to digress too much because we really want to talk about Walmart and China, but the same sort of activities and difficulties that are being experienced by both Walmart and Tesco in India as well. So it's, it's fascinating to watch these two major corporations trying to break into China and India with great difficulty. But bringing the conversation back to the situation with the, the closure of the Walmart store, what is happening at the present time? And what is the likelihood that the the closure could be overturned? How are the political authorities reacting to this? And what levels of compensation would the workers be entitled to? Well, I think probably the, the closure will probably go ahead. Um, I think the local government in that town seems to be more on the side of Walmart than they are on the workers. Um, so a lot of pressure is being put on the work is to come to a deal. Um, workers have now hired um, a legal consultant, uh, a well-known labor on, uh, in Beijing. So I, the, they're right now in the process of negotiation. Um, what, in terms of the compensation, Jai, you, you've been studying exactly what they've been asking for. Yeah, and yeah, the workers uh, demanded a compensation of uh, the years of services plus one month of salary um, times two, uh, which means, uh, 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 but Walmart only agrees to pay uh, the years of services. Uh, uh, Plus one, so uh, 
so so uh, so so a warm up priest pay them essentially uh, only fifty percent of uh, uh, of what they demand, and the workers are demanding uh, 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 exactly the same amount uh, that uh, the the labor contract law in China stupid is. Um, well, this, this is the, the technical issue because um, if you're hired illegally, uh, the law states that you're entitled to double compensation. Um, and it, it kind of looks, it's pretty clear from that point of view that uh, a two week termination notice is not in accordance with the law and therefore the workers should get double compensation. But of course, I'm sure your mark will find some lawyer somewhere who will try and argue otherwise. Listen, I think there's a number of very important uh, developments that are, are taking place you, with respect to those in the capacity of the official trade union movement, as you referred to, standing up and fighting for the workers. And of course, the absolute scandalous behaviour of Walmart around the world, the arbitrary decision making of shutting a store within two weeks and disputing the levels of compensation for these workers to add even more misery to the situation of them losing their jobs. And of course we are talking about the biggest private sector employer in the world, one of the richest organisations in the world, richer than many, many countries. I think it would be in the G20 in terms of its actual level of wealth. So it's very important that we continue to shine a light on Walmart's activities around the world, whether it is in India, China, Mexico, the UK and America, because it's very important that we join the dots on the behaviour of this company. Is there anything, Jai and Jeff, you would want to tell our listeners about how they could potentially get involved in supporting the workers in the dispute? Well, I, well, I, I think the, the important thing to note here is obviously that not only are the Chinese workers um, standing up for their rights, but finally that their trade union officially is as well. And I think they deserve all the support they can possibly get. So I, I think if um, any trade unionists or labor activists around the world want to um, offer their support, you can just um, send a message to us at China Bulletin and we'll translate that into Chinese and send it to the workers. That's, that's very easy. That Listen, I think that's a great place to end and of course we at USI will endeavour to support China Labour Bulletin as much as we can in getting their message out to around the world about what is going on in China and of course we will use our social media streams including Weibo to encourage the workers and the trade union to hold firm and to ensure and that justice prevails. Chai and Jeff, it's been an absolute okay. pleasure to chat with you today and we look forward to these continuing conversations as we try to inform the global labour movement about what's going on in China and to support the workers' struggles. Thanks very much. And you. Cheers.